Hello. These highlights of the men's 3A championship between Lincolnton and defending champion John Motley Moorhead of Eden are presented by Thorlow Athletic Sox. While you watch both teams get off to a rousing start, I'll give you the starting fives. This is the first Super Saturday for the Wolves of Lincolnton, who have won 16 of their last 17 games. Starting at guard, number four, Kelly Bess, a senior with a 12-point average. The other guard, also a senior, number five, Aaron Grooms, the big six conference player of the year, who sports a 17-point average while dishing out seven assists per game. Unfortunately, he played with a broken finger bone in his left hand. It did hamper his play, but he'll never make excuses. The forwards are number 23, Marco Aries, and number 32, Alan Wilson, both seniors and strong rebounders. Number 34, 6'5", Charles Briggs, the MVP of the Western Regional, is the center. Lavelle Hall, an East Lincolnton graduate, in his second year is the coach. For the running, ever-pressing Fighting Panthers of Moorhead, who scored better than 90 points in 17 games on the way to defend the championship they won last year and a 29-1 record, they will start at the guard positions number 12, Tim Martin, who averages five assists per, and number 30, Mike Jumper, a junior. At forward number 32, Mike Broadnecks, the leading scorer with 15 per game, and number 40, Kelvin Martin, one of two returning starters of last year's championship team. The other attorney is number 52, 6'4", Junior Taylor, the center, one of four starters averaging in double figures. Moorhead is coached by 16-year veteran John Harder, who feels he has more firepower than last year, and the stats back him up. We pick up the action with less than four minutes to play in the first quarter with a close-up look at that vaunted, pressing, trapping defense that has become the trademark of a John Harder coach team. They start pressing opponents in the parking lot. The Wolves play tough D2. Brad Bonds, no one open. He goes to plan B. The Panthers are tough underneath, too. They always double-team the ball and keep a hand in the face, or two or three. Number 30, Mike Jumper, makes it look easy. One look at 6'2 senior Marco Arias, and you know he's not afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any defense. Marco says, in case you missed it, I'll do it again, and cuts the lead to 10. But as the first quarter ends, Mark Blackytop, a junior, on the drive, and the Panthers lead 27-15. This is Tim Martin. Then brother Kelvin Martin gets into the act. Back to Tim, and the Fighting Panthers have built an 18-point lead. Charles Briggs says, enough is enough, I have to get busy. But at the other end, 6'4", Junior Taylor has an answer. Number four, Kelly Best from downtown. Kelly Best at his best with another trade. Junior Taylor goes high for the rebound, giving Moorhead a 49-33 halftime lead. On the basketball court or the football field, Jumper knows what to do with the long pass. Pick up the action with 3.33 to go in the third quarter. Jumper shows more of the moves that made him a great pass receiver in football. 6-5, Charles Briggs was the Western Regional MVP with plays like this. He also was the Toyota player of the game. The Panthers always have an answer. This time, their leading scorer, Mike Broadnecks. Eight minutes to play. Number 44, Brian Littlejohn, cuts the Panther lead to 11 on good teamwork. As I said earlier, the Panthers always have an answer. This one is Kelvin Martin, one of the starters on last year's championship team. Not only do the Panthers have an answer, as you know, they also have another Martin. This one is Tim. The Panthers have turned up the offensive wick. Broadnecks gives them a 19-point lead with 5.52 to play before they can pick up their hardware. Charles Briggs takes out his frustration on the basket. Mike Broadnecks rebounds the missed foul shot by Mike Jumper. The well, Lincolnton fans will always wonder, what if? Aaron Grooms, number five, the leading scorer with a 17-point average, played with a broken finger bone in his left hand. It affected his play. And the immediate answer from Mike Jumper. Smooth as silk, Mark Blackie Top. Even with a 19-point lead, that smothering defense never quits. Another junior, number 10, Brad Bonds. Marco Arias finds the handle and closes out his high school career with eight points. But Mike Broadnecks is still padding his average. Broadnecks with the last of his 15 points. Freshman Brian Red ends the successful Panther season. If that's the Moorhead future, look out.
The final score of the men's 3A championship presented by Thorlow Athletic Sox, Moorhead of Eden, 89, Lincolnton, 65. The Fighting Panthers give coach John Harder his second consecutive championship. He's only coached there three years. What will he do for an encore? The Toyota player of the game was voted to Charles Briggs of Lincolnton, only a junior who gives new meaning to the saying, wait till next year. He had 26 points. Paramount's Carowinds will make a contribution to the North Carolina High School Athletic Association Endowment Fund on behalf of John Motley Moorhead High. Marlowe has the highlights of the Women's 4A Championship as Toyota Basketball Championships of North Carolina rolls on.